Hey everyone, welcome to Logan's Mosh Pit. Glad to have you here. Do me a favor and please subscribe if you haven't already. Prepare to feast your eyes on a phenomenal piece of art because at long last, a new episode of Album Art is upon us. Each episode of Album Art will consist of me sharing my thoughts about a certain album I love. On this occasion, I'm going to fire away a slew of compliments toward the album I Brought You My Bullets, You Brought Me Your Love, by My Chemical Romance. Whew, wow, what a long-ass title. If you start saying the album title at sunrise, it'll definitely be dark before you finish. Allow me to be completely clear with you. I don't claim to be an expert artist in any way, shape, or form. I've never been an expert artist, and I doubt I ever will be. Unfortunately, I lack an extensive background in art. Therefore, you should expect to exclusively hear big picture information. While watching this video, keep in mind that the main purpose of art, regardless of the medium type, is it is supposed to be admired first and discussed second. Why don't we begin? Well, I pulled up an incredible image of this marvelous MCR album cover, courtesy of Newberry Comics website. Initially, I think it would be wise to establish a bit of background. MCR's very first studio album showed up in 2002. I Brought You My Bullet, She Brought Me Your Love was loaded with 11 tracks. Among them were Head First for Halos, Honey, This Mirror Isn't Big Enough for the Two of Us, and of course, we can't forget about the fantastic Vampires Will Never Hurt You. At first glance, my gaze gravitated to the figure on the right side dangling upside down. It appears that they're suspended in some sort of straitjacket. This reminds me of the exceptional escape artist Harry Houdini. Maybe this album was meant to honor his legacy. It could be interpreted as love is impossible to escape from. Sooner or later, everyone becomes caught in its clutches. There also doesn't seem to be a strong connection between the left and right sides. I got the impression that each side is displaying a totally different scenario. The left side comes across as more subtle and subdued, while the right appears rather vibrant and beaming. It's quite difficult for me to identify any significant details on the left half, except for some jagged lines jutting out. However, on the right side, it actually looks like some tiles have tumbled down to the ground, forming a path. Where the tiles lead is anyone's guess. If I were asked to describe this MCR cover in only one word, I would select the word panic. Simply looking at it bothers me. I can't imagine actually being there. The mood doesn't give off welcoming vibes at all. On the contrary, it conveys substantial suffering. The rough, violent texture enhances that same sensation. Doom and gloom. Not a pleasant place to visit. Almost as if you're trapped in torment with no way out. I wouldn't even want my worst enemy to be sent here. If I could change something, I would choose another font color besides white. I know, white font is a widespread default option, but in this case, it blends in too much with the background. Makes it hard to read. Perhaps blue or black would have been better. The title is a pretty important element, so it's very vital that people can see what it says. Merely a minor nitpick, though. Admittedly, I like the way the font savagely slices through the cover. When stacked up against the rest of MCR's discography, I would put I Brought You My Bullets in first place, Fabulous Killjoy second, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge third, and The Black Parade in fourth place. First certainly wasn't the worst for MCR album covers. It features a compelling combo of contrast, boldness, and minimal sugar coating. It sets a very high standard for sure. Above all, it proved that the band didn't mind dabbling in sensitive subject matter for songs. Well, that's it. What's your favorite MCR album cover? Let me know in the comments. That does it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you next time. Till then, rock on.